What is the executive service in Java? Executive service in Java is a framework that simplifies how we manage threads. Instead of creating threads manually using the thread class, executive service allows us to submit tasks and it handles thread creation, scheduling, execution, and reuse automatically. Executive service internally uses a thread pool, which means a set of worker threads are created in advance and reused to execute multiple tasks. This avoids the cost of creating a new thread for every task and greatly improves performance in applications that need concurrency. Executor service can execute runnable tasks that do not return a value and callable tasks that return a value through a future object. Executor service also provides methods to shut down all threads safely, ensuring that the application exits cleanly without leaving any threads running in the background. Now let's understand this clearly with a simple and practical demonstration. We begin by creating a class called worker task that implements the runnable interface. Inside the run method, we print that the task has started, sleep for half a second to simulate work, and then print that the task has finished. This class represents the work we want our threads to execute. Next. In the main method, we create an executor service using executors.newfixed thread pool and we pass the value 2. This means we now have a thread pool with exactly two worker threads. They are created immediately and will be reused to execute our tasks. Then we call service.submit three times. We submit task 1, task 2, and task 3. When task 1 and task 2 are submitted, executor service assigns them to the two available worker threads and both tasks start running at the same time. Each task prints its start message, sleeps for half a second, and then prints its finish message. Now task 3 is submitted, but there are only two threads in the pool and both are busy. So task 3 waits in the executor service queue. As soon as either task 1 or task 2 finishes, one worker thread becomes free. Executor service automatically picks task 3 from the queue and assigns it to the available thread. Now, if we run the program, you can see the output. Task 1, 2, 3 started and finished. This demonstration clearly shows how executor service manages threads, reuses them, and schedules tasks without requiring us to create threads manually.